Identify all acute, obtuse, and right angles in the image below. So let's just remind ourselves what an, what an acute, obtuse, or right angle is. An acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees, and I'll write it right over, right under the word acute. A right angle, a right angle is an angle that is equal to 90 degrees, or whose measure is equal to 90 degrees. And an obtuse angle, obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 degrees, greater than 90 degrees, and it is less than 180 degrees. Or you could view it this way. It is greater than 90 degrees, or 90 degrees is less than an obtuse angle, and an obtuse angle is less than 180 degrees. And they don't ask us about this, but if you have an angle that is 180 degrees, it forms a straight line, and that really is called a straight angle. So let's look at this diagram, and let's start with the acute angles. And I'll do, I'll do the acute angles in purple, ones, ones that we know are less than 90 degrees. Well, you look over here, the only real information they've given is they've marked this box right over here that this angle right over here is a right angle. So actually, let's start with the right angles, because that actually might be a little bit more interesting. So they tell us that this right over here is a right angle. So we already know one of the right angles is angle QAR, where A would be the vertex. You could also call it angle RAQ. So angle QAR, QAR. They actually tell us the measure of that is actually 90 degrees. Now, there is another 90 degree angle here, and that is QAT, this angle right over here. Angle QAT. And the reason why I know that angle QAT is also right is that if you take QAR, if you take QAR, which was this one over here, and combine it with QAT, you actually form a straight angle. You go all the way around like this. And so their sum needs to be 180 degrees. So if QAR is 90 degrees, then QAT also has to be 90 degrees. Another way to think about it is so is because they are next to each other, they actually have a, a ray in common. They are adjacent angles. And if you were to put them and when you look at if you look at their outer edges, that you actually form a straight angle, you would call these two angles supplementary, or that they add up to 180 degrees. That's another definition of supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, if one is 90, the other one has to be 90 degrees. So with that out of the way, now let's look at the, now let's look at the acute angles, because that actually gives us a lot of information. Because if this entire angle, if QAT, if QAT is 90 degrees, then any of the angles that, it's, that make up QAT have to be less than 90 degrees. So for example, QAP, that angle right over there, QAP, the measure of that angle has to be less than 90 degrees because it's part of this larger 90 degree angle. You'd have to add that to this angle right over here to actually get to 90 degrees. So both of them actually have to be less than 90 degrees. So one acute angle is angle QAP. Q, A, P, and then another acute angle is angle P, A, T. Angle P, A, T, and once again, we know that because if we add these two angles together, you get 90 degrees, so each of them have to be less than 90, and we're assuming that neither of these angles are zero degrees. Now, are there any other acute angles over here? Well, another angle that looks acute is angle R, A, S, angle R, a S. And the reason that we can feel pretty good that it is less than 90 degrees is because if you were to keep this line, if you if AQ is just a ray right now, but if you were to extend it all the way, let's say you had some mythological point over there called X, called X, angle RAX would be 90 degrees. And so RAS is less than that, so RAS has to be less than 90 degrees. And I think we got all of the acute all of the acute angles here. We got the two right angles here. Now let's think about the obtuse angles, the ones that are more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. So one of the obtuse angles, one of the obtuse angles is if you went from Q, QAS, or SAQ. Let's call it SAQ. SAQ is definitely an obtuse angle because it contains a 90 degree angle in it and it's even wider than that. So SAQ, angle S. AQ is definitely obtuse. I'd be tempted to say SAP, but SAP is a straight angle. If we went all the way around like this, 
180 degrees, that would actually be a straight angle. And that's not officially an obtuse angle. And notice, it's called a straight angle because it forms a straight line. The two rays, the two edges of the angle form a straight line. So we're not going to include, we're not going to include SAP there. Now, another obtuse angle, another obtuse angle, I'll do this in a different color, looks like RAP angle RAP. Once again, it contains RAQ in it, which is 90 degrees, and it opens up even wider. It opens up even wider than that. And let's see, and RAT is a straight angle, so for our purposes, we will not consider that obtuse. And have I found everything? Have I found everything? Am I not missing something? So I did that one, I did that one, and those would be straight angles. Oh, wait, I just saw one more, of course. You also have this angle right over here. There's a big blank spot, and I wasn't paying attention to it. You also have this angle right over here, angle TAS. Angle T. A S. And the reason why we know it's more than 90 degrees is once again if you had this mythological point X over here that was just if you were continue if you were to continue QA in this direction, we would know that this is a 90 degree angle and TAS is opening up more than that 90 degree angle. So TAS is also is also obtuse. And I think I got all of them now. So let me see. I think that is all of them. Yep, we're done.